everyone. Um, um, lovely to meet you. Um, just here to share a really short testimony. I wasn't expecting to share anything today at all, uh, but I just want to tell you guys what um, a Sister Malika was saying is so true. Um, you see, last year I was, um, you could say, bombarded with many dreams, and I say bombarded because I did not ask for dreams. They would come very unexpectedly, and I want to bless you today and tell you it's true. It's very true. And um, I had a dream last year, and I saw walking, this was a after the rapture dream, um, and I saw walking across the earth the Antichrist. He was wearing a black suit, and his face looked like just black vapor, so God would not allow me to actually see his identity. And I saw two horns on his head. That's how I knew who he was, and marching behind him in a line was all of his troops. The Bible says that there'll be... Um, Birds will feed upon the flesh of commanders and kings for a reason, because he will be in authority. He will be in charge of all the world presidents and the military, and they will listen to him. Now, what what God showed me in this dream, I would li I would I thank God for this dream, but I would not wish it upon one human being, because he picked up my soul and put it inside of a human of a Christian and I saw a gun raised to my head I don't want to scare you but I want to tell you the truth and I felt um, the presence of the Holy Spirit like a best friend and he just said brace it brace it brace it and the bullet went off and my spirit raised out of his body and was placed in another Christian's body and the same pattern happened again and I heard the Holy Spirit say brace it brace it brace it and the gun went off again and again my soul was lifted out of that innocent person's body and I can't tell you how many times it happened but as it was happening I was just saying God I, I, I understand now please let this end let this end and um, the other seconds got it almost done. He placed me in the body of a small child. Uh, he looked like six years old. He was a small uh, Afro-Caribbean, just a very young kid. And this is where my heart broke. And a gun raised to his head because these people were saying no to uh, the mark, you know. They were saying no. And what happened is that as soon as the gun raised, I heard again, brace it, brace it, brace it. But this time there was an earthquake across the whole earth, it seemed. And when I looked up to the sky, I noticed something. I saw armies of angels and I saw Jesus at the front of them on a white horse. And he, his foot had just touched a mountain just his foot just so much touched a mountain and the whole earth shook and the army shook and the antichrist shook and they started you know when you see a criminal running away from police they're still like pointing the gun you know that's what it looked like and they're like still um like how can you cuss out God? no no yeah. but that's what they were doing yeah, yeah. that's what they were doing he was blaspheming his name and they were like yeah trying to war against him but they were losing clearly and um then my dream ended and i woke up so i feel like that was like revelation 19 um that explains some of it but i just want to tell you yeah it's true and i, I just want to give that to you as well anyway god bless you guys Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Esther. We'll take one more testimony by a show of hands. Carissa, was that a hand? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, what was your name? Nakai. Let's welcome Nakai. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Greetings, everybody. Um, I just wanted to testify, and I've shared this testimony at another church recently, but I just wanted to say... Um, I think last year, last time I came, I testified that I, God had called me to fast, and I was fasting for 50 days for Jubilee. And Jubilee doesn't look like what you think it looks like. Being redeemed and coming into freedom in Christ doesn't necessarily look like how you would think. And so the 50 days finished, and I was like, okay, that was really hard. What now? Um, and there's been like so much change in my life since that time. I used to have a very difficult relationship with my ex-husband, like in anxiety to the point that I couldn't drive past the road 
off which his road comes off. Like I was so in such a bad place with him. And I just, I have been praying like God change him, change me, change him, change the situation. For years, years, we've been separated like over 10 years. And you know, I don't know what happened, but one day he rang me and he said, um, do you want some sofas? Now God told me to get rid of my sofas in the summer. And I got rid of them and I was like, so God, now what? I don't have sofas. And I kind of thought to myself, God, I need some sofas because our family time with my son is being compromised because he's in his room, I'm in my room. And like, it's just, you know. And so this random day, my ex-husband calls me, says, do you want sofas? And I said, um, what kind of sofas? How much is it going to cost me? Where are they? When do I need to get them? And he's like, it won't cost you anything. They're cream leather. I will pick them up and I'll bring them to you. Guys, if you knew the way my ex-husband hated me, the way we used to hate each other, like it was just, and for him to phone me, and I said to my son, I said, did you tell dad we need sofas? <laughs> did you tell your dad? And he was like, no, I didn't say anything. He, maybe he noticed when he was measuring the wall, because then he paid to decorate my son's room as well. And you know, like, it's a turnaround that I know God has done it. Wow. Like, only God can do it. So if you're facing something and you're thinking, I've been praying about this six years, seven years, the woman with the issue of blood, she had 12 years behind her, but she kept pressing, kept pressing, kept pressing. And you know, that's that thing where God calls you and if you keep pressing, he will surely answer. And anyone who knows me, they come to us, oh, you're nice new yourself. I said, Kevin got them. What? <laughs> what happened? What? I said, God. If you didn't believe in God, I had a friend who said, if I didn't believe in God, this would make me believe because it's been such a big change. So I just wanted to encourage somebody with that. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're going through, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Thank you so much, Nikai. Amen.